Good morning. Welcome to uh, this week's video. This week we've come back up to the uh, Brecon Beacons and I'm um, up to Waterfall Country and we're going to do the uh, Elladir Trail Falls. Uh, I think our biggest problem could be the fact that we've had torrential rain the last few days. Just watching my feet. <laughs> Foot in crossing there. Yeah, we've had torrential rain the last couple of days, so um, there is a massive amount of water flowing down through here. So the falls could be a bit too rapid, but there's some colour in the trees. So all in all, should be set for a good morning's photography. Okay, here we are at the first main fall. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of it, but I'll, uh, I'll put the name up in the caption. Um, so, first shot, and just because there's so much water coming down, um, I'm shooting at three seconds F14 ISO 64. I'm just using this. It's a bit of a branch here with a bit of colour in the leaves, and this tree here just to frame the top of the shot. And um, yeah, first shot today. Let's see if I can get myself another composition. Okay, so uh, a few compositions done on this first waterfall. Um, I'm going to move on to the next one soon. Um, as you can see, from the amount of rain we've had, the water is like a horrible brown colour. So, uh, may need a little bit of a post processing tweaks, so to speak. Um, but all in all, first waterfall here, quite impressive. Okay, so today we've got these little waterfalls down and then they are just coming down to the main river which is just flowing down through there. Okay, so we're just walking down to, uh, um, in front of us, we've got uh, a set of falls, um, like a horseshoe type falls, but back up the way, there's a, a double fall that we're gonna work our way back up along the, along the river's edge, but we've had to come down to here to, uh, to be able to access the river's edge, and then we can walk back up the side again. Okay, this uh, top double waterfall is just flowing at such a rate. It's just a massive mist of white water. So I've actually dropped back. I'm using this top branch and a rock and some leaves and a bit of detail there on the side and shooting up underneath and just actually using the waterfall as a background. I've increased the shutter speed up to 1 20th of a second 
I've had to up the ISO to get that um, just to give me a bit of a faster shutter speed just to sort of just to get a little bit of detail in that water because uh, it's a, a slower speed it's just uh, it's just a mismatch so let's try a few um, few different exposures and see what we can come up with with, with this with this shot So we are up at the base of this double waterfall. As you can see, the water is just thundering down here. So uh, certainly been a um, certainly been a balance of different exposure speeds. Martin there doing his Instagram post. Okay, so I have been uh, just doing some slow exposures using some of these smaller falls here as foregrounds and then with the uh, with the main falls there in the background um, and just using a bit of a faster shutter speed just to get a bit more detail in them so I think I've got what I want from here I'll um, put up a few of the best ones that I'm happy with and then I think it may be time to uh, time to move on see behind me there double four really really is thundering down the, the rain we've had over the last two days has really raised the level here so yeah nice I think I think next time it'll be better with just just a little bit less flow typical photographer moaning about the conditions again but all in all generally I'm really liking this the um, the area itself is looking fantastic and also skies are now breaking a little bit so we might start getting a nice bit of light in a minute which uh, could make all the difference but yeah looking nice glad I made the trip up today Okay, uh, walking down through now. Got to the fork in the river. Now we're gonna head up right-handed now and head up. There's a couple more waterfalls. One that's a bit further away. I'm not sure if we can get to it, but we're gonna try. It's Joe there. Joe's birthday today. And she's come out to enjoy it with us doing some photography. Okay, so there's a spot for choice of waterfalls all down through here, but now up on this leg of the river, it's a much slower flow and not so much color in the water, so it's looking much more promising. Okay, so this uh, water is a much better flow here. It's not quite so, uh, quite so rapid um, this this froth that's circulating here it's just it's just annoying me now because it's I thought it was gonna do a nice uh, give me a bit of a whirlpool shot but there's just too much of it there it's it's just becoming a on a slow exposure it's just becoming a mash in front of the, in in the bottom of the scene so um, so I'm just focusing on some different 
different shots using some of these trees ferns etc on the side so yeah get a couple more here I think and then we'll uh, walk on a bit further so we're now heading up the, the next trail yeah this is a uh, this is quite an impressive fall don't know if you can hear me over the noise um, taking a couple of shots here that I'm quite quite pleased with um, this one here I'm just using this this old tree here with a bit of fungus growing out of it got a rock there at the foreground and then the uh, waterfall behind and a bit of color in those trees behind and the other shot I took was using that old tree up there in the top of the frame. That was a that was another shot I really liked. So yeah, a couple of nice shots from here. Put them up. Let you have a look. Thanks to Joe for getting a bit of um, bit of footage there of me being stupid and wading out. Oh, that was cold. Fair play to you wild swimmers, because that was fresh. My feet are freezing. But hopefully it was worth the effort. for this waterfall that's further up the trail that a lot of people don't go to we now know why because you've got to cross two rivers to get to it wading through two rivers cold rivers but yeah but anyway we've bit the bullet now we're uh, we're on route I've got another river another crossing to do yet and then hopefully this next waterfall will be worth it Okay, so we've arrived um, across two rivers, waded through two rivers, up to our, well, above knees, freezing cold. Walked along a dodgy goat track, cliff edge. Not good for a 55 year old with a dodgy ticker. But anyway, we're here at this hidden, um, hidden, Hidden, not secret waterfall because there's still a lot of people know about it but I can see why not many people come to it because it is a bit of a, a bit awkward to get to but anyway we're here so now see if we can get some shots make it worthwhile
Okay, so video really doesn't capture the size and the ferociousness of the, certainly the back waterfall. Just thundering out over, well, I don't know what it is, uh, 60, 60 meter drop maybe. Um, yeah, certainly, certainly impressive. Um, difficult one to get a composition on though. I'm just trying to get some shots here with the rocks. Um, I need to just edge out to my left hand side, but I can't do it at the moment because Martin's uh, getting a shot there as well. So I just want to edge out a little bit to uh, try and get a better angle that I can see the back waterfall a little bit. Whilst I'm waiting, I'm just getting this composition here, uh, just using the using these. Uh, mossy rocks here in the foreground and then we've got that uh, middle middle waterfall there and then behind the big waterfall cascading down through behind that tree so the sunlight's just breaking through it's raining but there's some thin light breaking through that's looking making it look quite ethereal with a mess Given like it's looking nice. Well worth the trip now. Okay, so from the top end of the Yellow Deer Trail and the hidden waterfall. We're um, pretty much done, I think. We're probably gonna get a couple of shots on the way back down through as well. So, enjoyable morning, nice walk. Wading through rivers and walking along cliff edges. But anyway, it's all what we do to, uh, to get the shots, so to speak. So, hope you've enjoyed this week's video. If you have, please hit the old subscription button and the notification bell to keep up with the latest content and give the video a thumbs up that would be much appreciated because it does help the video with the analytics and gets it to uh, pop up on people's search feeds and also drop me a comment down below so once again thanks again for watching so from the yellow deer trail in the bracken beacons till next time take it easy